Welcome to Mastering Sales. I'm Brent Gove, your host. And today we have a special guest all the way from the East Coast, Lars Hedenberg. He is, in my opinion, one of the top real estate coaches in the country. I've known Lars for a long time. He's absolutely amazing. I'm looking for him, though. He said he's here, but I do not see him. Lars, are you here? He said he was on. I wonder if he went to .com. That's so funny instead of .live. I literally just talked to him. Let me just, uh, that is hilarious. www.zoom with Brent. Are you there? He goes, yeah, I'm here. I bet she went, he went uh, to dot com, zoomwithbrent.com. As you all know, it's zoomwithbrent.live. So uh, hopefully R Lars will see this quick and be right on with us. Um, uh, dot live. That's so funny. I confirmed he was on like 45 seconds ago. We're ready. Or either that or he, he dropped it. Not.com. He just came in. Did he? Here okay. He good, good. He might have got, I know he's, I think he's. We'll make him a co-host. Yeah, 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 yeah. There he is. Hey, Lars, how you doing? Good to see you, buddy. What's up? What's up? Good to see you, man. Welcome to Mastering Sales with Brent Gove. I do this once a week at 5, 10 Eastern. You are our special guest today. Tell everyone before you give them tips, I want them to know what a rock star you are. Tell them a little bit about your, your give them a minute or two, Cliff Notes, the Lars Edinburgh story about real estate, how you became a coach, a little bit about you. Yeah, so um, yeah, left a cozy multiple six-figure corporate job back in 2007 Three months uh, on the East Coast, uh, we got hit a little bit later than the left coast. Um, like inventory shot through the roof three months after I got into like we went to like 25 months of inventory. Worst time ever turned out best time ever. But um, we went from 15,000 agents to 5,000 agents in our market. And uh, so it was a it was a crazy time. Just got married had our first kid. Same year I got into real estate. Um, so starting a family, not knowing how to do marriage, all of it, you know, new to sales, had never sold anything before. Um, but I, I figured some stuff out, you know, I focused on singularly focused on, you know, one lead source for like two and a half years. And I got really good at one thing, one script. So 27 homes, my first 10 months, 44, my first full year, 58, uh, the first year I brought out another person and then. 118, 178, 248 is when I exited 312, 453. Um, and I got that, got that business down to very profitably down to one day a week, um, sitting in the business owner seat. So since then, 2013, I've just been running real estate B school and, you know, um, launched into EXP four years ago and, and, uh, it's been, tell them a good. little bit about real estate B school. You had, 10 B students. What do you mean? Real estate B school. Did you have 20 students? Is it individual coaching group coaching? Tell us a little bit about that before we get Yeah. So our, I would say that the unique aspect of a B school and it stands for business school. So it's, it's business coaching for real estate agents is that most of the time I find agents really struggle with just building out systems in the business that make the business run better and give you a shot at making an unreasonable amount of money in a reasonable amount of time, you know, so I was able to sell, you know, the year we did 178 transactions, I did 66 sites personally, 33 buyers, 33 sellers, and I didn't work any evenings or weekends, you know, so, and I had like a three or four agents that were highly productive, making a lot of money alongside me, but on the right splits that were like, you know, in line with the value I provided versus the value they provided. So that's what business school, you know, real estate B school, it just, you know, how to put a database together the right way and turn it into multiple six figure pillar, how to use social media systematically, how to build an expired, you know, direct mail system or FISBO direct mail system, like the least sexy stuff in real estate, but the stuff that actually scales. So you've been doing this for about 10 years and um, you, um, how many people have been through your B school? How many people have you coached in the last 10 years? Yeah, I would say, uh, oh, I, I stopped counting, but over 2000. Wow. Very, very impressive. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to tell them about your background or your company? I'd love, at the end, I'd love for you to 
give people your coaching website. Um, and it just is a thank you from me to you. If, if someone's interested in connecting, we'll do that at the end. But is there anything else you want to tell them about your background before we give them two to three superstar tips on how to sell in this market, 2024? No, the only thing is that this is the perfect time to get after it as everyone is freaking out. So this is when I came into, like, I think we're going to go through a bit of a crap storm as far as like what might happen to the economy and like, hopefully Jesus comes soon. That That's my real, I think <laughs> Julie says brother. Jesus is coming. So you don't there have to worry know. about anything. So yeah. uh, no, I'm, I'm ready to roll. I've got some, some good stuff. I, no, can I just want to comment on the comment you made. Um, yes. A plus to Jesus, but the other comment on um, th th this, the perfect time I got in real estate in 96 and every home was boarded up. It was a HUD home. Every home had a 5% commission and, and every home was zero down, zero closing costs. You have a job in 500 bucks. You could pick any home you want. Four bedroom, three bath with a pool, three car garage. Job in 500 bucks, the house is yours. That's how real estate was sold in the nights because nobody could afford to buy a house. It was a crap time in real estate. People were out. People, it was a really t hard market. That's all I knew. And it just went up from there. It got easier and easier and easier year after year. Then, of course, 2000, 2005, it exploded for five years. And in some parts of the country, it went on to 06, 07. But by 08, taps, it was over, which is kind of when you got in, right? You got yep. in right there when the lights went out. They went out summer of 05. We could have told you the end was near the apocalypse. We, we knew it. Uh, Ju July of 05 absolutely knew it was over. I mean, it was like a light switch. And so anyways, okay, let's get to the tips. We we tormented them enough with background and story. I think they enjoyed it. Um, uh, but what what's, what's the number one of advice you have for people to make it right now? Yeah. So I'm going to start in the clouds and then I'm going to, I'm going to land in the dirt. So, okay. so just, okay. just, just, just bear with me. So the, the reason I was able to come in when, when all heck was breaking loose and I didn't have a background in sales and I don't even have the personality, honestly, I'm super introverted, but I, I clearly wrote out where I wanted to be three years, you know? So, so the reason I was able to do the work on the daily, which I'll get into is I knew clearly where I wanted to be in three years. And I knew real estate could get me there. Like there's these just massive commission checks, right? If I could sell a hundred homes, you know, I'm going to be a millionaire, you know, it's going to be great. Um, so I was really good at, 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 at writing down where I wanted my life to be in very specific detail, uh, a, a three-year vision. So you may have done that before or maybe not, but if you haven't, you have to do it and you have to look at it consistently. So I still look at my goals in multiple businesses in multiple areas of my personal life every single day. So this, this stuff does not escape me, even though I've achieved a certain level of success. I think God has more more, more uh, impact left, left in me on this industry. So I would say you just need some sort of like planning process or vision process. And if you don't have that, you're not going to be able to push through this stuff that's going to come because you don't have any bigger purpose or, or, or you know, you don't even know what's possible because you haven't written down. So I would say that's like the, the backdrop to all of this. Um, and, and, and it goes without saying that along with that, I mean, I had a picture of my kids who were, you know, in my biggest growth years, I had a picture of them um, on my desk. And so the reason I would do whatever it took on the daily and I made my calls is I was literally looking at a picture of my kids and it was easy for me to be lazy, but it was hard for me to like. Like I would say like, and I can get emotional, think about it. Like, I will not let you guys down today. You know, I will not let you guys down today. So nothing is going to come easy in the next year, two or three in real estate. And so you have to ground it to some, um, some practice of uh, something that's bigger than you, you know? So, so I, I know that kind of lands with different people like, oh, uh, we've all heard that before, but are you, are you actually doing it? So that, so that's number one. Number two uh, and this gets this gets a little bit more tactical. Um, is that I wouldn't know what to do, even back in in the days when I was heavy in production, if I didn't have it on my calendar. So again, everyone's going to say like, "Oh, you're going to teach us time blocking," but are you actually doing it? Are you doing it as if your life depended on it? And so 
you it's unlikely that you would miss a million dollar listing appointment but how often do you miss a, a, an appointment with yourself to generate new business so i just never miss those appointments like you you if you're not where you want to be financially and you have a real estate license it's likely that you're not honoring the commitments you're making to yourself and again that may be a little bit too too in the clouds for you but when you look at where you're spending your time you know are you doing everything you possibly can to talk to 15 20 25 or more people every day about real estate so like the leading indicator is to me, if you were on my real estate team, if you were an outside sales agent, it was 25 meaningful conversations before we let you out on appointments. And if you were inside sales all day, it was 50 meaningful conversations a day minimum. And this is a, a meaningful, meaningful conversation. It's a two-way conversation with a decision-making adult about real estate. So you could be catching up and, and you end the conversation. Brent, you know, I've got big goals. Who do you know that's looking to buy or sell? You know I'll take good care of them. Who can you think about right now? So you could just talk to 10 people you know and end the conversation and stick it to them and say, you know my heart. You know I've got a big family. I've got too many kids to care for. Like I need you to just put me in touch with someone on a three-way text right now. And so do that 10 times a day. Um, I would say that's that's the second point. The third point, and I realize it looked looking back. So some of this is, is with hindsight is that, and we, we've heard Chuck Fazio from stage and he uses words that you and I don't like to use, but he says, you, I think he uses the F bomb. You guys are too effing casual. Like I could hear that ringing in my head. You know, I think a lot of times, uh, I think everyone that needs to commit to daily non-negotiables so daily non-negotiables, I have six of them. Um, I do the five-minute journal. So it's, a, it's an app on your phone. You can also get a, um, a, uh, a paper version. My wife uses the paper version. Phenomenal tool. You, you cannot have a bad mindset if you do the five-minute journal. Once in the morning, three things you're grateful for, three things you're going to accomplish in the day. And then at night, three amazing things that happen and one thing you learned that day that'll change your life if you do that one thing so that's one of my daily non-negotiables the next is that um i'm going to post three times on social media and i don't even like social media but i'm going to post three times on social media uh, and these will be a little bit different for real estate because i'm trying to connect with agents so mine's a little bit different i'm going to open up five conversations on social media so in someone that, that likes a piece of your content or they follow you or, you know, you just say, Brent, this is the script and it works. Copy it down. Brent, exclamation point. Thanks for the follow or thanks for the like, exclamation point. Are you here for the content or are you looking, in my case, are you looking to sell more homes? Because I'm talking to agents. In your case, are you here for the content or are you looking to buy or sell a home? And just open up five of those conversations every day. That's the third thing. The fourth thing is that I work out for 45 minutes. So break a sweat, work out for 45 minutes. Um, the fifth is read 10 pages of a nonfiction book. And what is the sixth? I got to look at my, I, I keep track of it on a, uh, a little app called Tick Tick, which I, I'm obsessed with. My whole life is on this thing. Um, and, re and review my goals. So I review review my goals and I have them on tick tick t-i-c-k uh, t-i-c-k -T if anyone needs like an app for habit tracking and different projects and integrate your calendar it has an Eisenhower grid if you guys are nerds around the priority matrix it's like the coolest thing ever so if you pick and I've committed to these six for the next 365 days so these aren't things that I do uh, just Monday through Friday they're not things that I like negotiate my way out of i've committed to them they're non-negotiable so if you pick three four five things it could be i'll give you some ideas for real estate i'm gonna have um i'm gonna connect with five people i know so every day 
and you could, I guess, technically you could just do it Monday through Friday if you don't want to be up in people's stuff on the weekends, but I wouldn't, I would just do it daily. So I'm going to, I'm going to connect with five people. I know I'm going to message five people on social media. I know I'm going to, um, you know, um, what's another good one. I'm going to post on social media. I'm going to do a Facebook live every day. You know, if you committed to doing a Facebook live every day, your business would be unrecognizable a year from now. And wow. You would, wow. You would, you would suck at it at first. One of our clients got 30 listings in 90 days uh, and she tracked most of the business from doing a Facebook live every day. Wow. But most people don't, most people won't do it, you know? And, and I, I committed to posting three times a day on Instagram after not doing social media for almost two years. And my son comes to me he's like really bad dad really not good he says it's so cringy i said but i said to myself i said do you think i'll be good a year or two from now and i'll have hundred thousand two hundred thousand followers on instagram you better believe it but i'm just i'm just now learning how to do social media so this stuff is not you know i haven't figured everything else out yet but i know that because i committed to it on the daily i will become an expert in it I love this. You, um, your own son was saying you're terrible, but yeah. the pathway to greatness is through being terrible, then being okay, then being decent, then being pretty good, then being good, then being outstanding, then being freaking phenomenal. And so it's just, it's, it's every, it's a rite of passage. I love that. So I put the five minute journal and tick tick is two great apps to put down and then um, going Facebook live every day for the next 90 days. Uh, by the way, everyone's thinking you got to talk for an hour, 30 minutes, 10 minutes. I think you go Facebook live for a minute. I mean, start off yeah. just 30 seconds. It, it, let it be weird till it's not. Let it be uncomfortable till it's not. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. And pretty soon doing a Facebook live is just kind of what you do. It's like brushing your teeth. You're having a, a cup of coffee. I have a cup of coffee every morning. It is a daily non-negotiable. Lars, that is so good. How long do you recommend as they're starting just to kind of get it in their their blood? How long do you recommend um, they they do a Facebook Live for if they're going to take the challenge and, and completely transform their business? Uh, how long? Yeah, so, minute, two, three minute Facebook Live. Yeah. So 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 real quick on that. It's it's just the habit of doing it, like you said, more than anything else. So, and, and it's also not all about real estate. So it's uh, a book by Gary V, uh, jab, 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 right hook. So for every three, for every piece of real estate you do, it's three other things. So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm here at the barn. Uh, my daughter has her lesson. You know, I, I thought about this thing today and I just wanted to kind of get it out there and share it with you. you know, have you guys ever struggled with like, you know, not making time for your spouse or being on your phone or like just stuff that everyone can relate to. I've, I've picked up my health workouts so I can do something about that. Um, and then you're going to, on the fourth one, you're going to do like, okay, you know, so real estate's pretty choppy right now. You know, we, we've had in the last month, days of market has ticked up or ticked down, you know, and we've seen the, the, uh, this go this way. You know, you're maybe you're holding a piece of paper from Keeping Current Matters, which is a super cheap, great resource that everyone should have. I don't have an affiliate deal, um, and you're kind of pointing at it, or you're setting whatever whatever you're doing, and then you just say like, listen, if if you want to see what your home is worth, you know, just go to LarsHomeEval.com. You know, so every fourth one, actual call to action, but it doesn't even need to. You know, it's just you're just putting out information and you're building your brand. You're building yourself online as the authority. In in real estate beast school, we call it brand authority builder. Yeah. And it just takes reps. No one can do it for you. You can't pay $100 a month to some social media thing to do it. You actually have to do it yourself because you're the only person. AI is not going to be able to do it for you because there is no other Brent. There is no other Lars. There is no other you that can do this work for you. You're amazing. You're you don't need to be anyone else. Just be you with authenticity. That is so good. Quick question, Lars. I, I may have made a mistake on this, but I was on the radio 10, 15 years ago going, hey, if you want to know what your home worth, go to you know, Brinko, homeevaluation.com. I was doing that stuff too, but I, would, I was on the radio, so I get like a lot of requests. So what I learned to do, and this may have been a mistake. I probably didn't build the database I could have had, so I'm sure it was a mistake. I would say... 
if you're thinking about selling your home, actually listing with an agent and moving, go to brentshomevalue.com. So I kind of went, you're like, I didn't like just like, oh, are you moving? Oh, hell no. This is my forever. I'm going to be here. I'll die here in 40 years. So those were depressing home of ours to spend time on. But um, but I, I could have built my database with those people. I did. I chose right to just kind of get rid of everybody. And the people who want to know, they're either thinking about moving out of the area, selling their home, listing. I kind of, and, and it worked. It worked, but I didn't have as big a database because of it. Do you think that was a mistake? I, it I all depends, right? If, if you're struggling to have those 20 meaningful conversations and you get someone and you connect with them and, and you can end that conversation with like, okay, I get that you're not looking to move, but you want, is there a neighbor you want to get rid of? you know, or someone at work, right? So it's just another opportunity where you can have a conversation with an adult about real estate. So yeah, yeah for sure, you can you could dial it in at scale. You don't want to be doing, a, you know, 100 free home evals, you know, every every month. But most CRMs on the back end have a an automated tool that they get you to a certain point, you capture the lead, and then you're following up and they've answered a question about like, are you likely to sell looking to refinance or just curious? You know, so most CRMs have that embedded in it now. That's awesome. Lars, thank you. Is there any final thing you want to say? Or are you good? Um, that was really good today. Thank you. Yeah, I would say if, um, yeah, if anyone is looking to scale their business, that, that's really what we're really, really good at. You know, uh, just go to milliondollaragentmethod.com. So that's the only, you know, there's no high pressure situation. We'll just jump on a strategy session dig into your business, where it's at now, where you want it to be in the future. It's just million dollar agent uh, method.com. Someone type that in the chat bar, please. Million dollar agent, agent method. Million dollar agent method.com. Yep. MD. Um, That's it. Yeah. It's just a short video there and you'll know if it's right for you. It's not for everyone. Uh, but we're heavy implementation. It's a 90-day build-out that we do with our clients. Right on. I'm clicking on that link right now. Someone put it. Well, I probably shouldn't click on it. We're in the middle of this thing. But um, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Or you can just go go on Instagram, just at Lars Hedenborg on Instagram, and just send me a DM, and I'll, I'll connect with oh, you. Oh, this is a cool website, man. I recommend everybody. MillionDollarAgentMethod.com. I'm here right now. That is really cool. All right. Thank you, Lars. And then um, and then they can uh, take it from there. And All right. Excellent. That was really cool. If you haven't done awesome. that, do that. All right, everyone. Lars, thank you for being on today. Lars Hedenberg, everybody. A uh, good friend of mine and appreciate you. And by the way, Lars, if you didn't hear, we have Ed Milet ready to go for Cabo this year. Dates blocked. Everyone gets to meet Ed Milet in person. They'll be, I'm using him in personal, smaller venues and medium. You'll see him awesome. walking to the pool, the beach, at the spa, maybe on the golf course. Come hang out with Ed Milet this March 11th through 12th. Get your ticket today. Get your oceanfront suite today. The oceanfront suites are going to go. They always go first, and you'll be staring at the parking lot. But if you have to stare at the parking lot, stare at the parking lot. But if you, your what's ticket, the website? It's, what's the um, website? Rob, can you put the website in the chat? Um, let's see. Everyone look at open your chat. Rob's gonna type it there. And I'm, I'm sorry, which one? I was distracted by something. Cabo, Cabo, Cabo chat. Oh yeah, yeah. Cabo. Expcabo.com. Let's put that in the chat. E I'm gonna sign up right now. E there you go. Expcabo.com. Jay Kender's coming. Kyle Whistle's coming. John Cheplak's coming. We're working on Tom Ferry this year. We have Bill Pipes coming, Glenn Sanford coming, Leo Robles is coming. Um, the, the leaders of EXP, Lars Hedenberg's coming, John Mikesh is coming. Um, like a lot of you are, are coming. This is where, this is our highlight event of the year. There it is, uh, expcabo.com. And um, love you guys, Lars. Thank you. You're amazing. Have fun with your daughter and we appreciate awesome. you. Love. We'll see everybody. See Thanks for being on. We'll see everyone next week. Bye for now.